Customizing irons and hybrids by bending the loft and lie specifications to fit an individual player is a specialized procedure that every golf club technician should be able to perform. This guide will show you how to perform the service safely and properly to ensure the highest level of quality to customers. It is recommended that you review the step-by-step -step guide completely before attempting this procedure. To set the unit to bend an iron, simply remove the pin, slide the T-bar housing that is attached to the inner bracket to the proper position for the club being adjusted. The inner bracket has a hole that lines up with the outer bracket holes. Simply position the inner bracket on the club number that you want to bend or measure and insert the pin. To properly position an iron into the bending machine, set the club face flush against the inside bracket with the sole touching both the heel sole disc and the toe sole disc. Using the face alignment aid, line up the grooves so that they are parallel to the edge of the face alignment aid. Once the iron is in the proper position, hold the club head with one hand and tighten down the T-bar clamp. Adjust the toe stop so that it is touching the toe. This will prevent slippage when making lie adjustments. Slide the loft and lie protractor into position. The lie reading shows what the lie angle of the club is based on the scoring lines. The loft reading shows the loft angle as weak or strong compared to the machine standard for each club that is engraved on the top bracket. If the loft indicator is at zero, the loft is the machine designed measurement. If the indicator is on the S side, the loft is strong compared to the machine designed loft. If the indicator is on the W side, the loft is weak compared to the machine designed loft. Each mark is equal to one degree. To adjust the lie of an iron, select the bending bar best suited for the iron design and place the bending bar on the hosel of the iron. For irons with standard length hosels, use the adjustable bending bar. For irons with short length hosels, use the short hosel bending bar. Caution. Using the short hosel bending bar on a standard length hosel can cause damage to the hosel. Before adjusting the lie, check the lie indicator to get the starting lie reading. The bar should be positioned parallel to the face as centered on the hosel as possible. To bend the iron, a short, quick application of pressure or a constant pressure are the two techniques used. To flatten the lie, apply pressure downward on the bar. Apply pressure upward to bend the hosel to a more upright lie. After bending, recheck the lie using the lie protractor. Before adjusting the loft, check the loft protractor to get the starting loft reading. To adjust the loft of an iron, place the bending bar on the hosel of an iron perpendicular to the face. To increase the loft, apply pressure downward. By applying pressure towards the back of the iron or upward, the loft will be decreased. After adjusting the loft, recheck the loft protractor to verify the change. The only part of the Maltby design bending machine that requires disassembly for use with left-handed clubs is the brass toe stop. To set the bending machine up for left-handed clubs, use an Allen wrench to loosen and remove the toe stop bolt with the brass toe stop disc attached. Move to the opposite side of the machine and reinsert into the toe stop receptacle. Approximately eight turns for the bolt should be sufficient to position the bolt securely into the bracket. Adjust the toe stop disc as needed. The sliding protractor assembly will simply slide to the left hand measuring side of the machine. No disassembly is required. Not all irons are made of the same materials. Some materials are more easily bent than others. The GolfWorks website has a list of iron models that should not be bent listed under the expert how-tos in the right hand column of the home page. For more details on adjusting loft and lie of irons, refer to the step-by-step -step guide for loft and lie adjustment. The Maltby Design Iron Hybrid Machine is designed to hold most models of hybrids securely without marring the head. This is accomplished by the use of a specially designed flat top brass soling disc with slight concave radius and the specially designed hybrid rubber face top jaw adapter. Remove the brass top clamp as shown and install the rubber face top jaw. The unit also has a backslide bolt clamp 
that secures the back of the head to prevent slipping during the adjustment process. Special caution. Do not use the toe stop when bending hybrids. The toe stop can damage the finish of a hybrid. The backside bolt clamp and the top clamp should hold the head securely during the bending process without the need for the toe stop. The procedures for bending hybrid type clubs are similar to the procedures for bending irons. Refer to the step-by-step -step guide for details on bending hybrids.